No, this magic belongs to no boy. Yes. Neverland will never need a disclaimer ever again. Wendy, Peter Pan, Captain Hook, the Lost Boys, and even Nana the Dog have woken up and joined the 21st century. Here is how the classic story has received a critical modern update. In 1953, Wendy was a flying stereotype when she wasn't mothering her siblings, fantasizing about a pointy-eared young pinup, and needing constant rescue. She was the butt of every male's misogyny. Peter. Girls talk too much. Yes. She says you're a big ugly girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hook. It's that Wendy who's to blame. We'll Shanghai Wendy. Ladies first, me dear. Come on. Get it over with you. Go on, go on. Get it over with. Neverland was never a safe space for women. Now, the social justice pendulum has swung left. What if I don't want that life? Wendy is no longer the naive young girl waiting for a mythical male to swoop in and whisk her away. She is a leader. They will follow your lead, so you must be a good leader. And... How am I supposed to do that if I'm off a boarding school, Mother? By going with your head held high. In her maiden voyage to Neverland, she doesn't follow the flock. The flock follows her. She leads it straight into a Christopher Nolan crossover. No! 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 The mermaids who hated her in the original... We were only trying to drown her. ...now swim in Wendy's shadow. And that is the last we'll ever see of them until... The cocky Peter Pan from 1953 gets clipped in 2023. Wendy the doormat is now Wendy the Destroyer. Her melody brings the lost he, she's and they's to tears. In Pirate Ship Jail, she even pays tribute to Jerry Springer. I was rescued and raised by pirates. I'd been happy here. We could be happy again. And offers herself up to walk the plank. Let's stop! Take me! In the original, saved by Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. In the new and improved version, saved by herself with some happy thoughts. Future thoughts in which she's Top Gun, Mama Mozart, Wendy Austin, and X-Woman. Free from the shackles of the patriarchy, her only competition would be Rey from Star Wars, the Lark from The Witcher, and Galadriel from The Rings of Power. The sword play on display. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. If Barishnikov and Boudicca had a baby daughter, Perhaps then, Wendy would have an equal. When Peter Pan questions himself, Wendy has all the answers. Grow up. Let this story forever be carved into stone as a Peter Pan and Wendy story. Or a Wendy and Peter Pan story. Or simply, a Wendy story. Step aside, Tiger King, for the world now has Tiger Queen. Before, Tiger Lily was ignored. Ooh, you suck! A little tiger plaything for Hook to tie up and Peter to set free. She'd flutter her eyelashes like a butterfly in heat. Her family, her people, a collective trigger warning. They look like they belong to the Mr. Nosy family tree, spoke like Borat. They're very nice. And had their culture inappropriately appropriated. Take a look at the new Tiger Lily, a strong, independent woman warrior who leads men into the light. She's always up for the fight, and she's the one who does the rescuing. Without her, Peter Pan would be Peter, rest in peace. She makes the Lone Ranger look like the Lone Loser. Pocahontas, no remake for you. You've already been reborn as Tiger Lily, the Tarzan Tiger Queen. Her family, her people, justice in Neverland at last. From taking up much of the screen time, they now barely feature at all. Blink and you'll miss them. Tiger Lily is the one you see now. Blonde-haired, blue-eyed Tinkerbell, a teeny teddy boy's wet dream. Put it before, but I'll put it away for him until he comes back. She was completely mute, immodest, and immature. If men of the time could have sprinkled some pixie dust and turned all women into Tinkerbell, we'd have never met a woman taller than a pint of beer again. A modern Tinkerbell for a modern audience. No more twerking, no more tight lips. Thank you for hearing me. No more hips don't lie. The world of Neverland is now fair for the fairy. 
The Lost Boys have lost their gender identities. Woo, not another move! Lost Boys. Every last one of us. You're not all boys. No. But I guess it doesn't really matter. And found diversity. In the original, they were more masculine than a Chuck Norris colouring in book. Now, the Old Boys Club has become the club where everyone's welcome, as long as they check a box. Never say never in Neverland, but it's safe to say Neverland will never look like this again. Modernity has even reached Nana. Nah, not their grandmother, but their dog, who no longer dresses in drag and serves drinks, but tries to avoid being dragged off on their whimsical adventure. If there's any criticism of the improvements to the story, it's this one. A cross-dressing dog was actually ahead of its time. Give Nana her clothes back. Peter Pan, the boy who never grew up. Until now, 70 years ago, the swashbuckling rapscallion who laughed danger in the face. In battle with Hook, he was light on his feet, quick with his sword, even quicker with his wit, and always three steps ahead. No sympathy, no mercy, once he had the captain cornered, feeding time. Peter was the poster boy for all the kids who wanted to stay young and carefree forever. Now, Pan's swashbuckling days are over. He flies, he cries, and he dies. When danger looks him in the face, he looks like he's trapped in the Amityville horror. In combat, it looks as though he's fighting at 0.25 playback speed. That's better. When he has Hook cornered, and it's time to enact some swift revenge, Sorry I did what I did, Captain Huck. Sorry I hurt you, James. This isn't fun anymore. Best friends forever. One wonders what Disney has in store for the Little Mermaid. You feel that steam heat coming? That's from my undercarriage. Oh. The modern Peter is no longer an inspiration for young children. He's not even an inspiration for the lost boys and girls. Unlike the original, they abandon him at the first available opportunity. Good job he has his new BFF to play with, because there's no one else left in Neverland. Captain Hook, a penchant for the dramatic. He chew through the scenery like TikTok the crocodile chew through his underpants. Hook was a larger-than-life villain who played the perfect foil for the cocky sprite in green tights. Batman, the Joker, Superman, Lex Luthor, Peter Pan, Captain Hook, nemeses until the end of time, or until 2023. Hook's over-the-top scene-stealing bravado replaced with Jude Law playing Daniel Day-Lewis. There's nothing to laugh at, but there's plenty to cry about. This Hook has a backstory. He was James, the first lost boy on the island. I didn't just leave Neverland. Peter made you go. There it is. Your mother. Yes, my mother. It's a terrible thing to miss a mother. All his villainy due to mommy issues. In 1953, TikTok fills his belly. Now, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Hook's pirates before, now even Hook has quotas to fill. Thank you, Disney, for breathing modern magic into a 112-year-old story. Never again will people make the mistake of saying this is a Peter Pan story. No, Wendy takes star billing. Never again will people forget Tiger Lily is the Tiger Queen who reigned over Neverland like Pocahontas. Never again will the Lost Boys be lost in toxic masculinity. Always, now, and forever, Neverland is a safe space for everyone. Mora! Friend, I'm gonna get Mora. You know, I've tried to tell you so many times. Give us a cup of tea, ready. I knew you'd forgotten. Listen, I'm, I'm not ready to no, deal I with this right now. Be 